do you wonder what it takes to actually do a webinar you know the basics what are the basics of doing a webinar my name is Jean Serge Gagnon we're going to talk about that in a second we're going to talk about webinars and this is step number 12 of your 12 steps to success it's it's the end of my series of the 12 steps to your success and we're going to talk about your webinar how to set up a webinar what are the basic things of course we're going to talk about all the other things but we're not going to get into too much detail except for the very very basics of what you need to do to actually put on a webinar so we're going to do that in just a second so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So, you know, preparing a webinar is a scary thing to do. When you're first starting online, you're wondering, how do you do a webinar? And you're seeing all these people saying, you got to do a webinar, you got to have a webinar. That's the only way you can make some real money online. Webinars is the key, you know, and you listen to, you know, I don't know if you've heard of this, but or maybe you've read this book or heard the audiobooks from Expert Secrets from Russell Brunson if you haven't by the way it's a really really good book and of course uh, go ahead and reach out to me I'll tell you where to get it the best place to get it and you know it's a book that is about expert secrets and developing expert secrets and part of it he, he talks about doing the same webinar every single week for a year or more before you actually think of automated because you know you might have heard of automating webinars as well and that kind of stuff and if you've been following me for any length of time you probably know that this step number 12 the last step you might have been listening to the other episodes and thinking when is the last step coming oh my god it's taking so long but you know what it's only been 12 days I've done them one a day and let's just show you what are these 12 steps right so the 12 steps were define your vision we did that define your audience we did that define your avatar we did that define your offer what are you selling we did that define your content or create your content copy we talked about that define your attractive character prepare your email step number seven step number eight create free or low-cost offer because you need something to bring them into your list and then step number nine we're setting up your tools we did that in the near the end because you know I don't want you to waste too much time setting up tools and step number nine uh so it was nine ten is create a capture page we showed you how to do a funnel and a capture page and an opt-in page uh, a squeeze page those kinds of things step number 11 was defining your offer stack what is it are the bonuses they get with your offer and finally today right now we're doing step number 12 how to set up your first webinar how to set up a webinar really the basics of webinars right and you know if you don't if you don't have your vision you don't have your audience you don't have your avatar you don't, you don't know who your attractive character is all these things are super important and this is the mistake that I made this is the mistake that I made when I first started and I just I just started doing all these things all in complete disarray confusion I started doing things like setting up all my tools I tried to to learn all about different platforms social media we're not even talking about social media platforms here right <coughs> and you know I, I did all that and I and I I got some results you know I got some great followers I got a lot of connections on LinkedIn I got you know close to 5,000 friends on Facebook I mean I did a lot I got lots of results but not the results that matter right I'm not there yet and this is one of the reasons I'm doing these 12 steps because I'm doing them for me that 12 steps for me so that I get to their level that I'm supposed to be at after being uh, doing personal branding and traction marketing for four years I've been doing it for four years since December 2015 so basically kind of January 2016 right and now we're in 2020 it's been four years and I don't I'm not I'm not going to say I'm getting results that I want but I've learned a lot and one of the things I've learned is that there's a sequence to doing things or it's not necessarily that there's a sequence you can certainly do it in all sorts of different orders like I did but it'll take you a lot longer <coughs> because you're not focusing because you're not clear you're not perf perf you know aligned and one of the things that that's one of the things right for me getting aligned was was something that I just it just I just didn't 
really understand why it was so important as I'm going through these 12 steps by the way these 12 steps if you go back and and watch the episode the first episode I did on this which was basically the introduction to the 12 steps you will see that I'm just making this up I mean I'm, I'm making it up in the sense that I've not done these in that sequence I've done them all I've done a little bit of this with different target markets different audiences different offers different everything and I've and I've mixed it all mixed and match and it just doesn't work when you do that right so that's why I went through this for myself to define what is it exactly the offer that I want to get into what is it that I want to offer to my audience what I want to offer to you what I offer to anybody else who's going to listen to me when I prepare all this when it's all done when I do my webinar right what is it that I'm offering right what am I offering who am I offering it to who's the avatar who's the audience what's my vision right where do I want to go and that's what you need to do you need to do what is your vision you know you got to ask yourself what's my vision what do I want in 5 10 20 years from now you know what what and what do I what who do I want to help how is this going to help them anyways all these things were covered in the previous steps right so 12 step 12 is all about webinars now the cool thing about webinars is that you know you might think you need a a, a webinar platform and you know it might be a good idea I've I've been using something called um, uh, expertise TV and let me just show you that just so you know just so you can see what it's all about so I mean if I um, go here let me just show you first so let's go here oops different uh, screen share here <coughs> uh, this one all right so I've been using you know expertise TV the, it's um, what they call community base so you have uh, you have a bunch of different uh, things on here where you can see how many members you have how many bookings you have what how much income I, I haven't like it says zero because I, I haven't used this to generate income because they have their platform is free to do webinars but you won't be able to measure income or anything through the platform if you're not paying the their hundred or two hundred dollars a month or whatever platform so that's why I'm at zero because I never use this platform to, to um, keep track of the income right but the thing is that you can have webinars let's just show you webinars I've done just so you see the last one I did was Facebook but if I show you like previous the ones I did before that I don't know how much I don't I don't even know I haven't looked really uh let's see where it's loading I guess it'll take a bit but anyways I've done other webinars where I've done like the same webinar for for two months three months I think I did one webinar for that long and then in the beginning I did another one see you know 2018-09 same one here uh, November October October September <laughs> I did that for a while I did other other things <coughs> other webinars as Facebook overnight authority that kind of stuff so I did a whole bunch of different things and that it's all free to do all these webinars right that's kind of cool but the other thing without a webinar platform you can just use Facebook you can do a Facebook live or YouTube live or something that could be your webinar that's okay that can be done especially in your first few webinars right the cool thing about these platforms is that they keep track of all sorts of different things uh, like how many people book the the webinar right and uh, uh, you can see that some of them don't have that big number right invited 27 three booked right uh, I don't even know how that invite works but see invited 40 32 booked whatever so you see it's not a huge amount of people here the other thing is just to show you pricing here if you want expertise tz of course I can send you a link that's going to give you the best deal you can have uh, but uh, there's this free forever that you can actually have that's a free a free account if you want you don't have to pay a monthly fee it gives you extra things but I use this one as you can see here that's the one I'm using I think so is that what it means no I think I'm doing reach this one here but <clears throat> the thing is that you don't need a webinar platform to do webinar so that's the first thing first you've got to decide where you're going to host your webinar so if you don't if you need a webinar platform if you feel you need to spend the money or maybe you want to use the free one you need to get a link and set up an account and all this stuff right but the second thing you need is something really uh very simple and that is let me just go in here <clears throat> show you something where is it there it is sorry I'm just uh, loading that up here
yeah so it's google drive right and it's a new google slides over here you just go to google drive you click on this thing on the side here you go to drive right and then you go new and you say google slides and you create a new slide deck and that's now here's the thing so now you're going to define your slide deck for your webinar so the thing you gotta you get you first you could do a webinar without that right but you kind of have to know what you're going to be talking about what are the, the the things you want your audience to you know accomplish by going through your webinar what are they going to learn from it why should they be listening to you so things like that so let's let's do that as well let me just go and I'll open up a a new document here <clears throat> so let's go and say webinar questions so you have to uh you need to so webinar questions you need to answer this question right what are you um what what do you what what do you expect your audience to learn by end right <coughs> okay you also need to say what will oh sorry why would they listen to you right <coughs> you also have to whoops so what do you expect from them and <coughs> what are you offering <coughs> as <coughs> uh, well at end I guess right so now we already know that we're like what we're offering right when we went through the 12 steps here right we define our vision we define our content we define our offer so we decided what all that is so let me just go take a look and go load up the original document I had for me that's not right <clears throat> the other document I had for me over here so what is your offer <coughs> so these are this is the offer right for me it was an easy to use course hosting platform now that's what I did when I first like I said this is going through I'm learning things I'm learning what I really want to be doing what I should be doing and this is the exercise I'm going through right now is actually kind of defining this and I'm realizing that some one of the things some of the things I did through this 12 step with you this first pass if you will because I'm going to probably continue going through this 12 step um <clears throat> I guess I made a typo here but the thing is that the offer that I have here is not what I think that I should be talking about because this is the offer about my platform my course hosting platform that it's a simple interface that you know all this why what do they improve their lives how they offer all these things that we talked about in the in the step for the offer right step number four it was defining your offer we talked about that so you of course have different answers that you put in for your offer what is it that you're offering your students in the end it's not necessarily about what you're offering because for me this is my final like the reason why I'm building everything it's for this uh, course hosting site right but in the webinar that's not the offer I'm going to be doing in the webinar it's going to be one thing but the idea of knowing what my final offer is helps me to be congruent in my intermediate offer if you will you know for example I might be selling I actually what I've been kind of thinking is that I would actually do the 12 steps to you know your first 12 steps to your online success that's actually what I'm going to be doing the first 12 steps so let me just put that in here I have this over here I have what am I offering so at the end I'm going to be offering your first 12 steps so it's going to be your first 12 steps to your success online to your online success I guess and it's going to be <clears throat> so it's actually what I'm actually going to be offering at the end of the webinar is actually going to be this, and this is what my webinar is going to be about it's going to be about your 12 steps 
to your online success, which will be similar to what we went through here. There's 12 steps, but it'll be improved, right? Because I'm going to improve it over time. It's going to be a mastermind. Uh, it's going to be a, well, the end result is going to be a $2,000 course that I'm going to be putting together. All right. So I'm not, this is not what I'm talking about right now with you. Right now with you, I'm talking about how you can put together your own webinar. So this is just my answer to these questions. You have your own answers. What is it that you're offering at the end, right? So for me, <laughs> in the end, it's going to be a $2,000 uh, course, right? So that's what I want to do. I want to have a $2,000 course as an offer. But this will be, so $2,000 course for 97 as pre-beta, right? So I'm actually doing, I'm actually going through this expert secrets uh, process or this idea, this, the way of doing things that Russell Brunson talks about. Hey Jeff, thank you so much for joining. Uh, you know, if, if you have any questions or if anybody else has any questions, of course, go ahead and type your questions. Let me know where you're watching from or where you're listening from if you're, if you're on a, on a episode a podcast. But the thing is that what is it that you're offering, right? What is it that you're offering? For me, it's going to be this, and it's going to be a $2,000 course that's going to be on sale. I mean, eventually, you know, like the idea for me, right, is I'm going to be doing this webinar, and I'm going to be improving over time using students that paid the $97 to get in the pre-beta, because that is going to be a, a class that's going to be done over a period of, I don't know, maybe three months. I haven't really decided because i got to kind of clarify it, but it's going to be like one, one <coughs> a couple hours every week, right? where we're just going to be going through the 12 steps as a group, as a team. And we're going to be going through and talking about your specific needs. What is it that you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. And we're going to go through these 12 steps to get to where you start to get success, right? But the thing is that before I can sell it for 2000 bucks, I have to show results, right? I have to help people to actually get the results. I have to get them in this, uh, you know, <clears throat> gr uh, group, if you will, this 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 mastermind or this course pre-beta, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm offering. That's going to be the offer at the end, right? So this offer at the end is going to be ninety-seven dollars, <throat> and it's going to be, or maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's going to be one one forty-seven. I don't I don't know. I kind of have to decide, but I think one forty-seven might make more sense. Um, what do I expect from them? And then again, this is what, what would you say? You, what would you answer to that question, right? But this is that part, what do you expect from them is pretty, pretty standard, right? What you normally expect is that they <coughs> pay attention, you know, remove distractions, this, whoops, distractions and turn off. So turn off phone turn off phone etc right there's a you know turn off your social media that kind of stuff and you also expect them to to ask questions and let you know let well let me know right let me know um if i'm going too fast right for example but this is the thing so what do you expect from them right you got to kind of come up with a couple things because part of your slides are going to be these things right so what <clears throat> so why would they listen to you right <clears throat> so this again this is you answering that question why would they listen to you about the topic that you're going to be teaching right uh so this what do you expect your audience to learn by the end of the webinar we're probably going to change that to what will you be teaching right what are you teaching right so why would they listen to you you know uh i've been doing online marketing for four years right uh this is my like this is my answer like why would they listen to me right i'm uh so i've let's just say i've got fifteen thousand linkedin well, uh, connections uh, and xxx right x uh, twitter x facebook etc right whatever that whatever those numbers are you can say that you know you got you got x number of followers you got x number of people on your email li email list 
you know all these things right uh, you can certainly um, <coughs> get into that uh, what else um, anyways and and this is maybe you talk about your credentials right if you have a uh, if you have a credential for whatever it is you're trying to you're going to teach them right so what am I going to be teaching them right so I'm going to be teaching the 12 steps of online success right so it'll be I'm going to talk about the 12 steps of online success in my presentation uh, but for you it's like what is it you're teaching now for me I'm teaching them the basics right so the basics now of course if you've been watching or listening or following me along you know that I've done 12 you know 15 to 20 to 30 minute videos or audios on these 12 steps right I've done that already uh so that's like probably four or five hours uh, and it's not even complete right so imagine trying to do that in a webinar a one hour webinar right so normally a webinar is going to last an hour at least uh, at most probably and then you might have questions and answers or maybe you're talking about your offer afterwards but the thing is that <clears throat> I can't do these 12 steps in that one hour in that one hour right obviously so that's why I'm going to be offering the 12 steps you know master class right the master class or the, the course or whatever it is that's what I'm going to be doing right I want to know what are you going to be doing what is it that you think you're going to be offering and how are you going to get you know what is it that you're going to be teaching to get them to it's got to be congruent right that's the thing if you're because you're going to be uh, maybe creating ads maybe posting content on social media that brings people to getting into your webinar right so they have to be interested in what your webinar is about and the offer at the end has to be congruent with what you've been talking about it's got to be it doesn't have to be the same like this is pretty much the same thing right but it doesn't have to be exactly the same it could be for example say you're in weight loss and you you want them to join your opportunity or you want them to buy your supplements <clears throat> well maybe you're going to teach some good habits some good eating habits to help you uh, to lose weight or to exercise better right maybe you're going to just talk about that the five things that are keeping you from losing weight in your eating habits right what are those five things right maybe maybe you're into uh, um, um, essential oils maybe you're selling essential oils or you want them to join your business or whatever maybe you're going to talk about the five you know essential oils that will help you to sleep better or you know that'll affect your your life in ways you won't, you wouldn't even think right so it really depends on what you're doing what you're trying to offer what is this that, that you want to put together in a webinar but the basics is that you got to know what you're going to be teaching you got to know what they're going to listen to and then of course you have to know so <coughs> what are slide uh what are slide uh, slide uh, well I guess we could say well topics right so normally you would have uh an agenda then you would have a introduction then you would have a why listen to me then you would have what do I expect of you and then you would have the topics so topic one topics so so you know uh, one to ten well let's just say that would probably be five to ten slides right these are the topics that you're teaching and at the end is the offer stack it's the offer stack it's not just the offer you're not just going to say oh, okay by the way I got a two thousand dollar course I'm letting go for 147 right now because because whatever right no you're not going to talk about that you're going to say how would you like in my case right I would end something like how would you like to continue on this topic I know that you know it's not possible we couldn't cover it all obviously we couldn't go into the details you know we couldn't cover any everything that everybody wanted to know so I know that if you want to keep going on this topic I'm putting together a, a, a class a master class where I'm going to be going through these 12 steps with you and I'm going to be we're going to be doing lives we're going to be doing sessions we're going to be 
doing Zooms where you can join in and we talk about exactly what you're trying to accomplish. We're going to answer your questions live. It's going to be a collaborative effort. Uh, and you know, that would normally be, I would actually sell that for $2,000, but it's not going to be 2000 for you right now, because right now I'm putting together the beta group and I want you in that beta group and you know, later it'll be 2000, but right now it's nothing like that. So here's what we're going to do. And then, then I get into the stack, right? I talk about the stack. What else did they get for the, I'm not even telling them yet that it's $147, right? <coughs> I'm telling them you're also going to get this and this and this, whatever the stack we decided on. And then eventually you come to the offer where you say, okay, it's not going to be 2000. It's not going to be a thousand. It's not going to be even 500. I'm not even going to charge you $200. It's only going to be 147. It's a one-time thing and it's going to be happening in a couple months. It's not happening right now because we got to get enough uh, participants before we start but it should happen soon and if you know anybody who's interested in learning this to get them on the next webinar we're even going to be doing commissions so you can get 50 percent of whatever they pay it's yours for you to join this master class right so that's that's my thing that I'm going to do but let's just go here and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go put it inside that google slides thing so first of all this will be in here we're going to say uh, your first whoops your first 12 steps oh I should say just first 12 steps okay, first 12 steps to your online now I have to um, think about more about what that is right and I'm probably going to do some more things but over here you just go plus and I'm going to put in here uh, agenda and then I'm just going to paste what do we have here I'm going to take this out of course because the agenda is the agenda and we're going to have introduction <coughs> I right, just fix this just put these all like this okay so now this is the thing you can go like this and you can go up here and make them with the little thing there the other thing you can do too let's just do another one another slide here plus introduction <coughs> uh introduction well actually you know what what you pro and this is this is you know up to you right you can kind of improve that you kind of have to have an introduction people want to know right away at the beginning what this is going to be about so it's you got to talk about what this is about what are they going to learn right and and then also who you are right so introduction why who am I maybe we just say who am I and why listen to me and then introduction let's just say what is this about right so that means what are you going to learn right we're going to talk about this this is the agenda now the other thing that's kind of cool is so what is this about right so in here we're going to talk about you know what's it about right it's uh, your success right your success the, the 12 steps to get started whoops to get started you getting your results right um, I don't know whatever right this is me with my offer with my thing that I'm doing of course you have to do the, something different than this but what I want to show you here is how uh, Google uh, Docs works you can kind of go down here and look at the different styles maybe whatever you like so you just click on one of those and it updates your slide deck to whatever that style is right so if you don't like it you choose another one let's do this one <coughs> it's kind of same as you know as a as a, a powerpoint or other tools right but it kind of has a style to it right based on whatever whatever you want right there's probably more uh, I don't really use it that much but I'm sure there's a there's a bunch of different ones that are also available online but this is the basics right you just you know we just have this like this and and that's your slide deck so then you put your slide deck together and the idea with that is that you and maybe we we'll have to cover that some other time and in the like I said in the advanced uh I, I will be doing that advanced thing right so for sure if you're interested in that just let me know and keep 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 a tab on me because eventually we'll get there but the thing is that 
um yeah so f there's after you've got your slide that done you you kind of have to schedule your webinar you have to get people on it you maybe you, in the beginning you just talk to your friends on Facebook you just message them you say hey I'm doing a webinar on x would would you ever be interested in that I'd, I'd love to have you on it and they might ask questions you say well can I just can I send you the registration link then you send it to them now the thing is that if you're not using a platform like expertise tv or if you or or uh, you know go to webinar or or uh, webinar jam or or even zoom or you know those platforms that let you set up things where they you have a link for them to register well you if you're not doing that and you're doing it say live on facebook you're gonna have to keep track of people yourself right and let them know or things like that so i'm not saying using uh using facebook is ideal but if you don't want to set up a platform using facebook is fine to just do a, a webinar like i'm doing right now i'm doing i'm not doing a webinar but i'm doing a live it's only 30 minutes in i probably should cut it short but that's the thing so you have to have a way of keeping track of who is getting on and who's not personally I use Aweber with email lists and I have then I have the webinar platform for registration as well but it's all tied together it's a very you know confusing and complex thing but that's what happens when you've been doing this for four years right you learn these things to get these things all tied together and my 12 steps that I'm you know showing you is about simplifying and just starting up basics but doing it in a sequence that gives you the most results and that's what I'm hoping I'll get out of doing it myself all right so I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.